I'm standing in the middle of the intersection of Frankfurt and Girard here in Fishtown. It is the busiest intersection that we have, and it's also the start of our major commercial corridor. I'm going to show you a little bit of what we have to offer by just walking around a little bit. This is Naveed Averick with Navigator Realty Group. Let's get after it. The first thing that I want to show you is why a lot of people choose to live in Fishtown. We are just outside of Center City, Philadelphia. We're still considered living in the city, uh, but we're outside of it. There are two trains that go through Philadelphia. One is the Market Frankfurt Line, one is the Broad Street Line. The Market Frankfurt Line goes east-west through the city and then it goes up along the water into Fishtown and the Broad Street Line goes north-south straight up and down Philadelphia. Everything else is like uh, their bus lines. So a lot of people choose to live here because they can get into Center City really easily without uh, really having to do anything. So I'm going to turn around real quick and show you the train station. If you look right behind me above the street, there's that blue guy going left to right. That's the Girard station. That's where the L travels. It's called the elevated train because it comes out, but once it gets to Market Street, it goes underground and then pops out somewhere in West Philadelphia. But anyways, that's one of the major reasons people choose to live here because easy accessibility if your job's in Center City, if you want to get into Center City for any reason. If you want to just ride an Uber or something, it's like 10 to 15 minutes depending on where you're trying to go in the Center City. So I'm going to walk back the other way, but I'm going to show you a couple things along the way. First off, Sancho Pistolas, Mexican food restaurant. They've got a bunch of margarita flavors. They got TVs for you to watch uh, sports or whatever's going on. I'm gonna keep walking this way and uh, point out a couple more places. Right here behind me, we've got Costas. It's a Greek restaurant. Uh, pretty authentic Greek cuisine. They've got a place in the back that you could sit. It's like being outside in a European patio. They got uh, pool tables inside. It's, uh, it's a good time. Lots of good beer and stuff, too. It's an empty commercial space in case you know anybody looking. It used to be a supplement store, but that's that. Then we got Weckerly's Ice Cream. This place always has a line outside of it. Fantastic natural flavors. They always change. And they got great ice cream sandwiches, too. So Anything for anybody. We got another empty storefront which uh, is ready to be filled. Mandarin House. Super cheap Chinese food. It's delicious, it's greasy. Good for the whole family. Then you got Joe's Steaks. They got great milkshakes. Obviously, their cheese steaks are delicious. Right now, they got this order out window. You just come, pick up your steaks good to go and make sure you get the cheese whiz all right people come on cheese whiz standing back at this intersection at uh, Frankfurt and Girard right across the street is a Wells Fargo I believe that's gonna turn into some sort of condos at some point um, but looking catty corner to me kitty corner I never know what to say that's a garage they got one here in Fishtown there's also one in South Philadelphia it's a wall full of beers you pick your beer they also um, have these things called frosés. It's frozen rosé, obviously. They really get you if you want to get turned up. So, uh, also a great place to watch games because they got huge televisions, uh, and it it gets packed. People like going there. Let's see if I can cross the street here in a second. I don't know where the lights turn it green. I'm going. Don't hit me. All right. Crossing over the street, I'm going to show you this restaurant right here. It's called Johnny Brenda's. It is a bar and restaurant. They've also got pool tables. They're also a concert venue. Upstairs, uh, whenever, I don't even know what days, but upstairs they got live music and uh, yeah, cool local shows. We're gonna keep on walking up Frankfurt Ave. Major commercial corridor here in Fishtown, just lined with stuff. I'm going to wait for this bus to move real quickly. I'm going to show you one thing that some of you might enjoy. That right there is Amrita Yoga Studio. Uh, 
uh, it is the only yoga studio within these couple of blocks and for very good reason. Um, there's a guy called Roland Cassis. He's a real estate investor. I think you could probably say he's pretty much single-handedly responsible for the gentrification here in Fishtown. He owns all this real estate and he rents it out to these people. The gym that I go to, City Fitness, just a couple blocks up that way, they're not allowed to do yoga because he's got a cease and desist or whatever you want to call it, conflict of interest thingamajigger that uh, they're not allowed to do yoga. So if you want to do yoga at City Fitness, you got to go to their Northern Liberties location. So we keep walking, we're going to see more things. Right next to Amrita is R&D, uh, amazing cocktails. I haven't been there since uh, they opened back up post COVID. So I'm not really sure what service is like these days, but um, I know they used to make really fantastic drinks and I still see people sitting in there all the time. Right next to that, we got a Steven Star barbecue restaurant, Feta Sal. You go in there and you order your meats by the pound, whatever, half pound. They got really delicious sides. They've also got great beer. I forget the day of the week, but they also do half off growlers. Uh, you can go in anytime. Actually, it's happy hour. It's half off anything. So. I'm going to go inside and check real quick. I want you guys to know. All right, I can't confirm nor deny right now what their half off growler day is or if they're even still doing it, but they do have a happy hour from four to six, Monday to Friday. Uh, I believe they got like burn ends, you get their deviled eggs, lots of good stuff. I'm about to pull up on uh, Frankfurt Hall, German beer garden. You can get your beers by the liter, the half liter. It's kind of like drinking out of a boot. They actually might even have a boot, I forget. But they got German fare too. You're talking uh, bratwurst, uh, pretzels, good stuff. Look at these people cheersing. I don't know if they're working right now, but it might be a work outing. We're just gonna go up maybe another half a block uh, just to keep showing you what, what's around here. Walking by this empty lot, at some point in time that was supposed to be a boutique hotel, it's been a couple years, maybe a few years now, and nothing's happened yet, but uh, it's in the works. There's a whole lot more to show you, but I'm going to stop at this last corner for today. It's just another one of... Uh, a popular corners with a bunch of stuff on it. So right behind me, we got Fishtown Tavern, pretty cool dive bar, really great food too. Uh, hop in there any day of the week and you'll uh, surely have great conversations with some great people. Across the street from where I'm at right now, Cake Life. Fantastic cakes, cupcakes, all sorts of baked goods. Can't go wrong. Right next to that, Bottle Bar East. It's another place, kind of like Garage, except Garage is more of like a, a bar, hangout, whatever. This is more of a restaurant, still a bar, uh, but a line of coolers, refrigerators, whatever you want to call them. Still pick out any bottles, any cans you want, uh, pay for them, and you're on your merry way. They also have really great smash burger, uh, chicken tenders, fantastic food. Right next to them, Kensington Quarters. Uh, it used to be a meat shop, a butchery. You would walk in there, and right in front of you, there was the butcher block, and you could order your meats, bacon, all that kind of stuff. But uh, ownership changed everything over to a seafood restaurant now so it's pretty high class seafood go in there get whatever you want uh, tons more stuff coming down this block I promise you I'm happy to show you the rest of Fishtown but this is just a taste so you can get to see what brings people here so that's it for today but you know there's gonna be more later this is Naveed Abram with Navigator Realty Group signing out